Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today for Aries. Let's see. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we also have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This could definitely rep represent you going from being single to being in a relationship or vice versa. But we'll see. We're going to focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. So we have the hangman, we have the devil, and then we also have the world. And it looks like you're finally deciding to let go of something that was extremely um, toxic and unhealthy for you. It could be an addiction, it could be a person, but whatever it is that you're letting go of, it's something that you know you need to let go of. Yeah, it's something that you know you have to sever ties with, whether that be like a person or an addiction. Yeah. So I see you severing ties here with someone or something. How does this person currently view this relationship? Ooh, we got the devil out here two times. Why? I don't like this. I don't like this. Because I feel... Okay, wait a second. I don't like this after all. Because I feel like this person goes from... Okay. Like, if this is like a person... I feel like it's a person you're getting rid of. Like, they go from... All right, cool. Fuck it. Let this relationship fall apart. Think I care? I feel like they go from acting... See, that's the problem. I feel like they go from acting like they can care less about you and this relationship falling apart here between you and them to all of a sudden, you know, wanting to fight for this and, and not wanting to let you go or leave. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I keep wanting to say that. I feel like this person went from... Fuck it. You want this relationship to come to an end, Aries? Cool. Me too. I'm out. Bye. You know? And then it's like... As time goes on, they're starting to realize, like, oh, shit, like, Aries is serious. Like, they're really, really done with me. They're not playing this time. They're not playing this time. So, okay. So, I don't know if you've had, like, the habit of telling this person, I'm done, and then you go running back to them. I don't know if that's what's going on here, possibly, um, between you and this person. But I feel like they went from acting as if they can care less about you in this relationship between you and them to all of a sudden now they want to care like i feel like they've always cared don't get me wrong like let me not let me not make them out to be the bad guy here because i don't feel like they are you know what i mean but it's not to say that they never cared about you or this relationship because i feel like they cared about you in this relationship a whole lot but i feel like when it was time to like try to fight for this relationship and keep this relationship intact i don't feel like they did that I kind of feel like you told them, you know what, that's it, I'm done. They're like, all right, cool, bye, you know? And now that time is going by and they're starting to kind of realize like, oh shit, like Aries is really freaking done with me. Like they're not playing this time around. It's putting them in a state of panic is what it is. It's putting them in a state of panic. So with the page of wands to the knight of swords, I see them rushing in. It's kind of like, oh shit, like, nah. like they're really done with me. They're really done with me. Like, they're really, like, that's it. It's really done. You know, like, between us. Like, it does have that feel. It's putting them in a state of panic. How does this person feel? I can tell this is somebody who doesn't want to lose you. Right off the bat, I can already tell. This is not somebody who wants to lose you and the relationship that they've essentially built with you thus far. I'm gonna say it. this is that type of person that does kind of come off to me as somebody who can be slightly codependent um i am kind of getting that this is somebody who doesn't function well being alone and and single this is that type of person that's always used to having someone in their life you know so this is that type of person that would you know end a relationship but they already got someone else coming in you know what i mean to to, to keep them company it's kind of kind of has that feel to it like somebody who doesn't function well being single this is that type of person that's always in a relationship like they're never freaking single 
they're always in a relationship with someone but i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that they just got so used to having someone by their side they're so used to being in committed relationships they're not used to being single and alone which could also contribute to why this person's reacting the way that they're reacting um because one thing that I will say is that this is not the type of person that likes to live the single life. They're just, they're just not. They're just not. Mm -mm. They're not the type of person to enjoy life just being single. You know, it's that type of person that needs to have a, like a man or a woman right by their side at all times. Like I said, it's like, I don't feel like they're codependent, like full blown codependent. I just kind of feel like they can be, they definitely can be. Um, let's keep going. Whew. Jesus. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. And then we got the Two of Cups. Wow. To the Ten of Swords, honey. Okay. When it comes down to how you're currently feeling, your mind's made up here when it comes down to your relationship with this person. I feel like you've had enough. I feel like you've had enough of this person and all that comes with this person. You're done. You're done. And the fact that you have the world out here, I believe you. I believe you. I truly do believe you when you say you're done with them. One thing I will say is that they feel pretty confident that they could be able to get you back, okay? They're, they're carrying around this level of confidence that I'm not worried. I'm not worried, like... We're gonna we're gonna work things out. I just I just know it. I know we are. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Cause you look pretty done with them. That's one thing I will say. What actions? Whew. Jesus. They're not ready. Oh, they are not ready. Yeah, I see you walking away from this relationship. I also am kind of getting that shortly after this relationship comes to an end here between you and this person, I do see you meeting someone, someone else. I do. They ain't ready for this. Because I feel like they took this whole I'm done as a joke. I, I do. I really do. And then to make matters worse, this is that type of person that needs to have a man or a woman by their side like this is that type of person like i said that does not function well being single and alone okay you don't have that problem i can tell that they do though what actions hmm. we got the two of cups we got the uh yikes page of cups to the four of pentacles when it comes down to how this person plans on moving forward I still see them trying, but to be completely honest, I feel like this person's wasting their time. I feel like they're wasting their time with you because, again, you got to understand this whole you telling them I'm done. They're taking it as a joke, right? And granted, as time went by and they didn't necessarily hear from you or anything like that, I feel like that's what kind of sent them into this panic mode, right? But they're carrying around this confidence, right, within themselves that, yeah, like, it's fine. We're going to get back together. I just know it. I just know it. Let me just let me just try to butter them up and call them a biscuit and then everything's going to like get back on track, right? Meanwhile, we got somebody new entering your life shortly after all of this happens here between you and them. So, I want to see ultimately what's going to end up happening here between you and this past person of yours and then you and this new person because one thing that I will say is that you don't have any sort of interest here when it comes down to this person that you're choosing to sever ties with. Zero interest there. I feel like you're going to be showing a lot of interest in someone uh, new, but they're going to still try. That's one thing that I will say. They're going to still try to win you back. They feel pretty confident that they can be able to pull this reconciliation off with you. What's going to end up happening between Aries and this person from their past? Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. I feel like this person's going to look at you like you're just playing hard to get. I don't feel like you're playing hard to get. I just feel like you're really serious 
about being done with them and not wanting absolutely anything to do with them. I just kind of feel like they have a very difficult time taking no for an answer. Let's just call a thing a thing today. But they definitely are going to try. And they're still kind of carrying around this level of confidence within them that if they just keep trying, if they just remain consistent and persistent when it comes down to you and what they want with you, eventually they'll get what it is that they want. But like I said, I feel like they're wasting their time. You don't have any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection here between you and them. What's going to end up happening? happening let's see what's going to end up happening between you and this new person what's gonna little do they know you're already kind of making plans to move forward and move on with your life with somebody else i just don't feel like they know about it okay let's keep going um what's gonna end up happening between aries and this new person okay let's do this come on you got the Three of Cups, you got the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Cups to the Four of Wands. Then we got the Four of Cups to the Three of Swords to the Death card. So in regards to this new person, I feel like you're going to grow to really, really like them. For one, you guys mesh very well with one another. You guys might even find that you actually got that you guys actually might have a lot of things in common uh, with one another. And I do see this person developing a lot of emotions for you. Now, Aries. You're going to have to really get rid of this ex. Like, all jokes aside, like, you're going to have to really get rid of this, this ex of yours. Because it's time for you to move forward and move on with your life. I can tell that you're so done with this person and this entire situation. But the fact that this person still has access to you, yeah, that needs to stop. That, that needs to stop. You need to block them, Aries. You need to do something. Because somehow, some way, this person still has access to you, which is kind of making me feel like you're still keeping those lines of communication open between you and them. And the last thing that you want is for your past to interfere with what you could have with this person. You see what I'm saying? So it, it's time for you to really get this, this whole entire situation out of your life once and for all. It's pretty evident to me you don't want anything to do with them. So you might as well just cut ties with them so that way you can fully enjoy you know, this connection here with this new person because this connection between you and this person, it has a great deal of potential, but you still have your past bothering you. Your past is still tapping you on the shoulder like, hey, I love you. Hey, I miss you. Hey, when are we gonna work this out? Hey, when am I gonna see? Your past is still bothering the hell out of you, dude. Cut ties with this person already. All right, what else for Aries? Okay. As much as you want to move forward and move on with your life, your past won't let you. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this person. You know, you got to put your foot down when it comes down to them. You know, you do. Like, by you telling them, that's it, I'm done, if you think that that's just going to cause them to just leave you alone it's, it's not gonna work out that way Aries like you legit have to put your foot down with this person you know if you truly want to be happy with this person if you truly want to build a meaningful connection with this person you gotta get rid of your past man there is no more Mr. Nice Guy here like clearly you telling them that you're done with them isn't enough for them to leave you the hell alone so you're gonna have to take things a step further here my friend block them change your number do something because this is that type of person that if they find out you're in a relationship with somebody else and you're trying to build you know a life with somebody else they'll be the type to come in and try to self-sabotage things here between you and your new lover and we really don't want that so to avoid all of that you're gonna have to block them or, or, or change your number or something so that way they don't have access to you anymore okay so that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading.